So in this update video, the mock is down right now. Transmission's out, not out as in broken, but out as on the ground. Reason is because I had a small little oil leak, nothing to be concerned about. It was something I wanted to get fixed eventually, but just later down on the road because it wasn't that big of a deal. But um, doing my EGR valve, I accidentally messed up um, a heater hose on the back of the engine, back of the cylinder head, causing a little bit of an oil or a little bit of a water leak that I didn't want to drive around with having a water leak, so I just went ahead and fixed it. Took the transmission out and fixed it. The problem was in the cooling mod that I did. Uh, wasn't a problem with the cooling mod, just where the cooling mod hose was laying. So this is the stock. This all makes sense for, for anybody who hasn't watched the original video. The original video was when the engine was on the en engine stand, but um, it'll make more sense hopefully in a second if you don't quite get this. This is the stock passenger side um, fitting that would go into the cylinder head into the core plug of the cylinder head it would go up to this this wouldn't be here it would it would go in a 90 degree and then into the heater core right there so the cooling mod I'm not gonna explain what the cooling mod is but or I'm not gonna explain why you need to do it but the cooling mod is taking a new um, outlet for the back of the cylinder head before this was not none of this was here it didn't have an exit on the back on the driver's side head so that was the problem originally so I took this part cut this edge off and put a bolt hole two bolt holes actually for different positions and cross it over into this Y and then this would go out to the heater core well <clears throat> it was riding against the cylinder head right there and it caused a little bit of a slit it was my fault because it was a little bit too tight right there and I should have put maybe something in, in between the two but I didn't um, but now this is the new uh, for those of you who do watch my videos you know that I like to upgrade whenever something breaks <clears throat> so um, I went ahead and bought an MMR kit from MMR it was a little bit pricey for what you get, but it's well worth it. Um, you can do it my way, the original way I did it, but you could run into the same problem. Um, it's just up to you and the way you build it or put it. Um, this was $200, but to be honest, it's like I said, it's a little bit pricey, but it's well worth it, um, especially because this is the only cooling mod that anybody has on the market. They make it for 5.0s. I make it for 4.6s. Um, those are the only ones I know of. I'm sure they make it for GM products as well. I think they do for Corvettes. But it has these little brass fittings that go into the side of them, into the hose. I put this little protective uh, thing over it. Um, into this brass fitting, sorry. Into this brass fitting, into this collector, and then up to the top. I don't have a hose on it just quite yet but that would go to the heater core. I'm pretty much done with that. It's pretty self-explanatory. And the oil leak is right there. Um, it's kind of a pain, but I'm gonna have to lower the oil pan just slightly and uh, fix that. I'm also gonna be taking this housing off, rear main housing off. Um, I don't think that this is the problem, but I can see a little bit of oil inside there. It's not wet anywhere around it, but I'm just going to do it because I'm here. Um, I'm going to take this housing off, pre uh, pull out the seal, and I'm going to press in the new one, but I'm not going to press it in as much because if you can see right there, there's a little bit you, was, there's a little bit more room that you could not press it as much um, in into the housing. So what that's going to do is it's going to give a different uh, a path or a different contact patch for the seal riding on the crankshaft. So just over time, it just naturally wears a hole or wears a, a ring around the crankshaft. And if that is in a ring, and that's why a little bit of oil is in there, then it'll fix itself basically by not pressing it in 
there as much. It's kind of hard to explain, but I hope you know what I mean. Um, also, I'm going to replace the throw out bearing. A reason why. Yeah. So, that's always a good idea to do that, no matter what. Even if that sounds good, you should always replace it since you're in there. So, um, the things that you should be expecting, the update videos you should be expecting pretty soon, are, or in the near future, are going to be, um, I'm going to upgrade the intercooler and pump. I'm going to do a Cobra front bumper um, for more airflow, of course. I'm going to take the supercharger off, ship it to Stegmeyer. Stegmeyer is a porting company. They port superchargers. Um, I'm going to get them to do a stage 7 port job on it, which is the biggest one that's out right now, most efficient one that's out right now. Pulley. I'm going to do a 2.76 pulley. Reason. Eventually, I'm going to do a 2.76 pulley. 2.76 is the smallest pulley you can put on it without it hitting the snout, without doing modifications to the snout, that is, I guess you could say. But um, that's going to be eventually. I'm not going to say what pulley I'm going to run a, um, first off, but because, to be honest, I don't even know. But whenever I do do the 2.76 pulley, I'll be at about... And this all depends on if you have... Um, you know, full exhaust, air in modifications, stuff like that. If you have all the supporting mods, um, you could be anywhere from it'll be it, low end. If you don't have all the supporting mods, it'll be about 500. If you do have them, 550 to 575. So that'll be a pretty pretty good jump. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I got new tires for the front. They're a Continental Extreme Contact DW for dry wet stock, uh, not stock. I still got the, uh, what are these, are KDWs in the back. Um, I guess other than that, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. Just, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll, I'll see y'all next video.